Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your uh, dream role. Myself, I'm Aliu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the description below. And uh, in addition to that, I have also segregated all the videos in my channel into five playlists, which are easy, medium, hard, premium, and also the all the questions which I have ordered by sequence wise. Okay, just go through all the videos and complete all the things to solve. There are nearly 230 questions. I have uploaded all of them. Okay. The question which we are trying to solve today is find the total time spent by each employee. Question number 1741. Okay. It is already asked in Adobe Amazon for beginner level roles. Okay. It is having an employee table which is having columns employee ID, event day, in time, out time. Okay. Write an SQL query to calculate the total time in minutes spent by each employee on each day at the office. Okay. Note that within one day an employee can enter and leave and more one sentence the time spent in office. Okay. It means that we need to calculate the sum of everything. I will tell you how to do that. Okay. Let's see this. Let's say employee 1 is there, right? Employee 1 is there, okay. He has worked on two dates, if you see. Employee 1 has worked on 2011-28. Employee worked on 2012-3, okay. Similarly, employee 2 has worked on 2011-28, 2020-12, okay. okay. Now on first, uh, sorry, employee 1, 2020-11-28. He has logged in on uh, 4 and he went on 32 means he has worked for 28 something let's say uh, minutes okay and again the second day, on the same day itself he worked for 55 to 200 means the difference is what 145 okay that is the total amount he worked on that on this day it is 41 33 minus 3 30 47 minus 74 is what 27 okay so in this day he has logged in the uh, logged in this time and he went out in this time again he came back and he worked in clear so for this date the combination of 1 20 20 11 28 it is summation of all both these things 28 plus 145 uh, 20 140 160 165 8, 173 seconds okay Similarly for the this one, 1 means grouping by event uh, ID and the date, 2020, 1205, it will be uh, 42 minus 1, 41. Similarly for 2, 20, 11, 28, there is only one row which is 30. Similarly for 2, 20, 20, 12, Uh, 0 9 which is 47 minus 27 if you see here these are the same values which I got here okay yeah got it so what we need to do we need to calculate the difference between in and out we need to group by employee ID and event and we need to sum the out time and in time. Let's write the code for that. From which table, employees table, what we need to do? We need to group by the combination of event day, comma, employee ID. And we need to select what 
employee id okay it should be in reverse order event day and they told to give a alias name day here day comma employee id as employee id only and what we need to calculate total time total time is what summation of all the out time minus in time and they are given alias name what total time let's run it yeah it got accepted let's submit it okay all the test cases has been successfully validated thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please try to subscribe to my channel and share my playlist to your colleagues friends or whoever it will think it will be beneficial for them just be disciplined complete all the 230 questions which are there in my playlist it will boost your sql game and try to achieve your dreams as fast as possible just don't give up keep learning keep hustling keep going